Hey guys, my name is Nochi. I'm from Japan. Now, today, I would like to explain about this. How I went over with Japanese Keigo. By the way, if someone who has studied Japanese a little, I think you guys will stumble with Japanese honorific language, Keigo. There are various ways to speak English carefully, right? Could you do this? Would you do that? Please do this. You have to be careful how you talk when asking someone or talking someone superior. So, how do we say these in Japanese? Well, first, look at my performance and let's study together. Here we go. Hey Michael, what book are you reading? So this, this is a Japanese textbook. Wow, that's impressive. Michael, you're studying. Well, I have great desire for knowledge, so. <laughs> uh, right. Well, Mr. Desire for Knowledge, I'm sorry if you're busy, but it's time for dinner, so let's go and eat. Ah, right, let's go eat. Jaa, jaa, meshi agalo. What is that weird Japanese? What? It's a Japanese honorific language, Keigo. Akira, you're Japanese, right? You don't know Keigo? Meshi agaru is a Keigo for eat. Uh, meshi agaru is a humble language, so it has to be a respectful language. So, itadaku is precise. Humble? R respect? R respect? What? Alright, how was it? Michael did a good job studying, but it was not enough. Today, I will talk about Kegel. First, I will explain it easily. Like, in English, could you do this? Or would you do this? Please, please do this. There are three types of languages in this expression. Respectful language, humble language, and I didn't say this in the performance, but polite language. First, I will explain about the history of Japanese Keigo. Originally, these languages are special words to worship the gods. There seems to be a theory that it was used only by the person who performed the ritual. Around the 8th century, the status system was subdivided. So it seems that it has become commonly used by superiors. Now, about Japanese Keigo. First, I will explain about respectful language and humble language. First, respectful language. This is a word used to show respect to other person. These words are used to tell people that you are a superior. For instance, in Japanese, what do you eat? Anata wa nani o taberu? This changes to Anata wa nani o meshi agarimasu ka? Wow, it's a big change. It doesn't even say taberu anymore. And next is humble language. This also shows respect to other people, but this is a word to show that I am below than the person in front of me. To show that I am lower status than the person that I will not go against him. Strictly speaking, it doesn't mean that much in Japan today, but it is used in business scenes, conversation with superiors, and when people meet for the first time. For example, I'll eat. In Japanese, it's watashi wa sore o taberu. This changes to watashi wa sore o itadakimasu. Again, there is no taberu in this sentence. So, the respectful language and the humble language, the words themselves changes. So now you know the difference of respectful and humble. In other words, if the subject is you, you use respectful. If the subject is I, you use humble. In the performance, Michael said, Meshi agaru. In this case, the subject is my own, so, Itadaku 
was the correct usage of kego. But you'll think, okay, I understand the difference, but I don't know which word is respectful or humble in the first place. And just the word eat. I have to learn three languages? Oh, Japanese is so crazy, I give up. I understand that. But wait, 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 wait. There's a hero in Japanese languages, and that's polite languages. To be honest, it is difficult even for Japanese to use keigo properly. Many Japanese learn how to use keigo when they go out to society. They study, but there are many people who can't master it. So, how are they doing it? There is a more safe way to speak, and that's polite language. This simply have changed the ending to masu or masuka. Wow, it's so easy. So, anata wa nani o taberu? This is a question. So, anata wa nani o tabemasu ka? I will eat this. Watashi wa sore o taberu. This is not a question. So, it becomes watashi wa sore o tabemasu. A person who learned Japanese maybe think, Nochi, I'm disappointed in you. You learned the Japanese words desu and masu first. That's the basics. You think so? Exactly, that's right. It is the basics. But desu and masu is a polite language. If you say, I eat it, in Japanese, it's watashi wa sore o taberu. But normally Japanese don't say that. We say, watashi wa sore wo tabemasu. I think everyone learns that part. You guys think Japanese keigo is so hard. But it's okay. The first thing you learn in Japanese is already keigo. Certainly there are various ways to express words such as respectful and humble. But first, it is okay with polite language. I was okay like that, so I think it's okay. If you do your best and use respectful and humble words, on the contrary, depending on the time and case, that word may be rude. So use polite language until you understand when to use other languages. I done it like that. But Japanese is very hard. I think that's true. I think the same right now. But that's how deep the language is. I think it's an attractive word. Above all, when the understanding of words deepens, I think you can see a different aspect of the culture that use these words. My video will continue to be about Japanese cultures and history and languages. I would like to introduce Japan that is full of charms. That's the reason why I'm putting Japanese subtitles on. Uh, someday soon, I also want to talk about games and animes too. I love them. If there is something you want me to talk about, please write to the comments down below. Okay, if you like this video, please press on the subscribe button and click on the notification button so you guys will know when I upload a new video. So, again, for the last, I would like to do something that the Japanese comedians do. It's called Ipatsugyak. If you do this to a Japanese friend, they'll love it. So, enjoy! Alright, if you guys gonna go and drink a cup of tea with your friend, try this. Thanks for watching. Bye.